You are watching a special edition of the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, who's a candidate for mini dental implants? If you are missing teeth, my advice, stick around for the latest edition of the Wellness Hour. The Wellness Hour, an in-depth discussion with today's top physicians and medical leaders. And now, your host, Randy Alvarez. You're watching the latest edition of the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. My first guest is Dr. Larry Stroud. Dr. Stroud is the founder of Smile Studio at Valley Dental in Louisville, Kentucky. We've invited Dr. Stroud on the program today to discuss who's a candidate for mini dental implants. Dr. Stroud, welcome to the program. Thanks, Randy. It's a pleasure to be here. Mini implants. Um, this seems to be your focus. I mean, you're the go-to guy in Louisville, I've been told, for mini implants. Is that right? I mean, I mean, has it become very popular? It's become popular, and it's become even more popular, Randy. I, through the years in my practice, you know, I've seen people that have struggled so hard with their dentures, especially lower dentures. Uh, they can't wear them. They can't keep the things in. They can't eat. They rub. They hurt. Uh, people with partial plates, they don't like those unsightly clasps. And over the years, their only real good solution for that in the past was the traditional surgical implants. Okay. And that's a good option. That works. But a lot of people I've found really don't want to go through all the extensive surgery involved. Is it a lot more surgery than it, a mini implant? Yes, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a lot more traditional surgery. Typically, patients are put to sleep, and it's, okay. and it's a big surgical but process. Do mini implants work? for the most part as well as a regular dental implant? Yes, the, 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 the research and statistics we have and based on my, my uh, practice, uh, about a 95% or so success rate. And okay. yes, they, they definitely do work. We're, we're doing it for a lot of people and there are over a thousand dentists that we know of right now that are doing these things across the country. Yeah, I mean our show airs nationwide and we've talked about mini implants on the show and it seems to be a very popular topic. People, I guess, get their teeth back. How, how long have, uh, or how did you get involved? In mini implants. Why the big uh, focus? Well, I got involved with mini implants about about five years ago. Uh, I had just seen some literature, been reading some literature about it. I never placed traditional implants. Never really wanted to. Um, it is a lot that the patients go through, and it just looked very interesting. These mini implants because it looked like a way that patients could um, have this sort of thing done without having to go through so much. And they are less expensive, I guess, than regular dental implants. Is that right? Yeah, significant less cost than the traditional implants. And uh, a, a lot less healing and recovery time. It goes very quickly with the mini implants. So what are the different categories of patients? What type of patients are you seeing uh, that are coming in for mini implants? People that are missing one tooth, people that are wearing parcels and hate those parcels, and we can replace several of the teeth or all the teeth that are on their partial plate, even teeth in the front. Um, people that are wearing dentures and they're uncomfortable and irritating and rub and sore. Um, even teenagers that are missing some front teeth that just uh, do not form or so do not in develop. So in the front, not a problem. Right. can be done in the front. How, how old do you have to natural. be to get a dental implant? We have done these mini dental implants on patients from age 15 to 88. How big of a problem is tooth loss? Well, it's, it's a big problem. I mean, there's probably over 40 million people that are, uh, you know, that have lost their teeth. That are wearing dentures, that, is that right? That are wearing dentures. And, uh, you know, that usually starts with losing one tooth. Yeah, we talked on the phone, and, you, and, and one of the things you said is that if you got them early enough, that you could probably stop that snowball effect from happening. How so? Well, if a person's missing one or two teeth, you know, if they have those teeth replaced uh, pretty soon and supports the other teeth, uh, it, it will just help from the deterioration of, of the other teeth and maybe kind of stop the downhill process. Okay, let's compare dental implants and starting with the one tooth. How does what you do uh, differ from what traditional dentistry would offer to fix that one tooth? Well, in the past what we did, and we did this all the time too, if a person's missing a tooth, one tooth, to do a, a traditional type of bridge, you have, to, you have to trim or grind down the teeth beside that to, uh, to put a bridge in. Uh, with, with many implants now, we can just put an implant in put the tooth on it, uh, the good teeth uh, stay intact, you don't have to grind them down, and so it's just a lot less invasive and, and not destructive to the other teeth. To, so the, uh, to the mini implant, by the way, for people that don't know what that is, I mean, it's, what is it, a tooth root? I mean, it mimics a tooth root, what is it? The mini implant is, is really looks like a long screw. Okay. It really just looks like, she came in, in one visit, we put in about 10 or 12 of these mini implants, okay, in all different areas of the back part of her mouth. In one visit, we put the implants in. She came back about three weeks later, we put the crowns or the teeth on them, and uh, she left that day with 
just all her teeth just staying in. She was done with those parcels, could throw those parcels away. <laughs> and uh, she just loves her new teeth. Well, she teeth. looks very happy. That's she for loves sure. her new teeth. She, she, she even wrote me a letter and she said, um, uh, I never even had to take a pain pill. So, you know, that was a little unusual having 10 plant implants in, but that's what she told me. So it, 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 went, it went real nice for her. Uh, and Randy, and if anyone has any questions, uh, if they'll just call our office, uh, we're happy to see them. We do a free consultation. Just talk to them like you and I are talking now. Okay. Just to see if they're a candidate. Uh, or if they just want some information. Lisa and Nikki in the office both know everything about this. They can call and find out whatever they need to know. And we'll go from there. All right. Thank you for coming on the show. Very interesting. Very good. Thank Very you, Randy. Good. Thanks for having me. You've been watching The Wellness Center, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Uh, if you would like to see this interview again online or direct a loved one, visit our website at wellnesshour.com. For now, I wish you good health.